it's Thursday and welcome back to my channel so today I have um, I have to take Phantom in to get his second round of shots because we still have one puppy left available so um, well, I'm going to be taking Phantom in to get his shots at 10 10 and it is like 9 45 so pretty pretty soon here and then I have an appointment with my doctor not my uh, not my trauma counselor, but like my doctor that like manages all my meds and stuff. I have a, an appointment with him this um, this afternoon. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. And then I want to, so I already did a video on Huskies and about the breed. And if you were thinking about getting a Husky, uh, things you need to know. So now I'm going to be doing a video on Akitas. So pretty much the same exact video. I'll answer all of the same exact questions, but only about Akitas. So um, for those of you who missed that, we do have quite a few different breeds of dogs. So we have Akitas, which we had a litter from, and then we have Huskies or a Husky. We used to have a Pomeranian, which I'll probably do a video about Pomeranians but I won't actually have one in the camera shot because uh, Bandit passed away so um, but we used to have a Pomeranian so I'll do a video about that and then we have a German Shepherd which is actually currently uh, my service dog prospect so we have quite a few different breeds of dogs and I've never actually like talked about them or like people that watch my channel that are regulars to my channel they know about them but I've never actually like discussed pros and cons about the breed and you know like living environments that the breed needs and stuff like that so um I'm gonna be going over that uh I also grew up with like Lhasa Apsas and Shih Tzus and stuff like that which I could cover too uh but it's kind of like I don't know if I'm actually gonna do that so but I'm hoping to cover the Akita breed today so if I have time I do have some patch orders and stuff that I need to work on today so but if I have time I will be recording uh, Destiny probably won't be in the shot because she smells like puppy right now uh, so she probably won't be in the shot to be honest I'll probably just go over the pros and cons without her. Uh, you guys have seen Destiny. I'll show you a video of her this morning when I let them out, which I'm about to do right now, which is why I have my coat on. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you a, a video of her. She's the black and white Pinto. Uh, Kira is the more sable one. And then Destiny is the black and white Pinto. So um, yeah, so you guys will see her, uh, you guys have seen her puppies, stuff like that, but I probably won't have her in the house with me because she does need a bath before I let her in here, which I also need to do, you know, sometime when I get the time. Uh, what? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Uh, don't mind the yard, you guys, with all this bark and stuff. We are getting that taken care of this year. Uh, we bought the house with the yard unfinished, so that's why there's a bunch of like bark and weeds and stuff, but we're getting that, uh, we're finishing the yard this year, which I'm really excited about, so. Oh, did you find a ball? Here. Destiny, come here. Destiny, give it. Give? Good girl. You want it? Go get it. She loves playing fetch, you guys doesn't always bring the ball back, but she loves playing fetch. Good girl, Destiny. Come here. Bring it back. She's like, uh, uh. Kira, slow down on the water. Jeez. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Kova is um, inside. She already went outside. Uh, I actually have to take Phantom into the vet to get his second round of shots. So I'm just letting them out uh, to go to the bathroom, which neither of them have done yet. 
So, um, I'm taking them out to go to the bathroom and then I'll put them back in and then I have to get Phantom ready to go, so. All right, we're here. He is so cute. His one ear's completely stood up and then his other one's kind of still working on it, but he's so cute. So I don't know if I'm going to record in the vet just because I am alone and I don't want to drop my camera and be worrying about carrying him and everything. So I probably won't record at the vet, but I will for sure let you guys know how he does. So wish him luck. Good boy, Phantom. All right, you guys. So I am back from taking Phantom to the vet for his second round of shots and he did Phenomenal. I was in and out. It was really quick. Uh, I was probably in there for like 15 minutes and then out of there. So that was really nice. So I do have the time to talk about the Akita breed. So I have a list on my phone that hopefully you guys don't mind me like looking at my phone. Um, I'll elaborate on these, but I kind of have like outlines. So I'm going to go over... Let's do the pros first. So, or actually, let's end with the best. So let's do the cons first. So the cons. Um, the first con that I have is they're not apartment dogs. Um, Akitas can be extremely territorial and they're not super great with uh, strangers and other pets. So um, apartment living is not necessarily the best for an Akita. Um, they are not for beginners. If you've never owned a dog before and you get an Akita, it's probably not the best idea. You probably need somebody in your family, uh, if you're married or have siblings or whatever, you need somebody in your family that has owned a dog before. Akitas are definitely not dogs for first time owners. Um, they're extremely stubborn and bullheaded, so, and they test your patience a lot. And if you don't know what you're doing, um, they can sense that and they test boundaries a lot. So I would definitely not recommend them. If you are a first time owner and you're wanting an Akita, I would not recommend this breed for you. Um, they're not dog friendly. I just kind of went over this, but I'll go over it again. They're not real dog friendly. Um, they can be if you socialize them as puppies, obviously, um, you know, being um, good with strangers and dog friendly and stuff like that, uh, that can be a trained thing. So if you take them to lots of dog parks when they're little and um, have lots of people in your house um, when they're little and when they're puppies, um, they might not, you know, be aggressive towards other dogs. Um, but generally speaking, the breed is not real good with other dogs. If you have a dog and you are wanting an Akita, usually Akitas get along better with the opposite sex. So if you have a male dog, your best bet is to probably get a female Akita, um, and vice versa. If you have a female dog, you're probably better off getting a male Akita. So, um... But generally speaking, they're not real dog friendly. So if you are getting an Akita, I would definitely bring your dog that you have currently over to the breeder's house. Just ask them uh, if you can, or if you're getting it from a shelter or whatever, I would definitely bring your current dog that you have to meet the dog before you bring it home. That way you know for a fact that they will get along um, because some Akitas are not great with other dogs. Um, not great with strangers. So if you're somebody that has a lot of different people coming in and out of your home, they're probably not the best. They are very protective of their family. They form extremely strong bonds with their family. And so um, if you're one of those people that, you know, party all the time, have a ton of people over, they're probably not the best breed for you. Um, my sister, my twin sister, is one of those people. She has people over all the time. She's extremely social. She has a lot of different people as friends. Um, me, I form close bonds to uh, several people and that's it. I have, you know, maybe three or four really, really close friends 
And that's the only people that come to my house. So, um, really, I mean, I can count on one hand the amount of people that I have over at my house. Um, so, and two of which are family. So, I just, I don't have a lot of people over. And so, the Akita breed actually is really good for me. They, you know, they're protective of their territory and their family, which I love. Um... And I don't have a whole lot of new people coming in and out of my house. So uh, they're a good breed for me. But if you are, you know, somebody that it has woo and, you know, they, you, you need a lot of different people around you to be happy, um, like my twin sister, and Akita is probably not for you. Um, they do shed a lot. So they shed, they blow their coat twice a year. Um, obviously to get their winter coat and to shed their winter coat and get their summer coat. So they do shed heavily twice a year, but they pretty much shed all year round. You can brush and brush and brush and brush and brush them and they will still shed. So if you are not somebody that can handle hair, I would not recommend this breed for you because they do shed a lot. Also, if you have allergies, they're probably not the best breed for you just because of their hair. Um, and then the last one that I have is they're not easy to train. Uh, they can be extremely, uh, bullheaded and kind of do what they want to do. And so training can be a challenge with Akitas. You have to know what you're doing. Um, especially if you're somebody that uses e-collars or anything like that, you have to know what you're doing with an Akita. Um, so they're not a breed that uh, lives to please you. They are more of a breed that um, does whatever it wants when it wants. So they're not a people pleaser at all. They're not like labs or retrievers or German shepherds that live to please their owners. Um, they're more of like, I love you. I will protect you. I will lay down my life for you. But if you ask me to sit, like you better have a treat or a reward or I'm not going to do it type of thing. So, um, and then let's go with the uh, pros. So the pros, they live a quite a long lifespan. So they have 10 to 15 year lifespan. So if you want a dog that's gonna live for quite a long time, most larger breeds don't have a super big lifespan. You know, if you're looking into Great Danes or whatever, their lifespans, you know, eight to 10 years. Uh, Akitas are 10 to 15 years. So you can actually own this dog for a really long time and they can be a part of your family for quite a long time. Um, they're affectionate with their family. Uh, like I said before, they, they're, they aren't good with strangers, but with their family and people that they're close to, they will give their life for them. And they are extremely affectionate um, with members of their family. So, um, they are protective. They're protective of, you know, their family. So, which is something that I loved about the breed. I personally love the fact that, you know, uh, when my kids are older and Justin and I want a night out, uh, I can leave the kids home and know for a fact that if anybody came into the house, Destiny would tear them apart. Like, I'm, I, I enjoy that fact that my house is safe from any, Anybody trying to break in, anybody trying to kidnap my kids, you know, stuff like that, which obviously, you know, it doesn't happen a lot here, but it does happen. And I, I enjoy the fact that I know that my dog will protect my family. Um, they have pretty good health for the most part. I know that Akitas do have some eye problems and they have some joint problems when they get older. So that is something to be aware of. Most large breeds have what's called hip dysplasia when they get older. Um, it's a large breed thing, and it's just something that if you get a large breed, you might have to, you know, live with. Um, hip dysplasia obviously gets to the point where um, you might have to put the dog down. So uh, just be aware of that. Like when you get the dog, if they start having joint problems, you can give them joint supplements when they're younger. Um, you can get them at PetSmart or Petco. They're just little chewable pills that you can give them um, for their joints and their health to help, you know, try keep their joints healthy, but um, 
it is something that you need to be aware of going into it that they might get hip dysplasia when they get older. Eye problems is another common uh, thing in the breed for Akitas, but it's not as common as hip dysplasia. So um, they don't howl a lot. They're extremely quiet. You know, if you're if you're looking for a dog that's that's more on the quiet end, Akitas are pretty good. Uh, they don't really bark unless somebody's on your territory, which is when you want them to bark. Um, you know, as opposed to Pomeranians or Chihuahuas that yap all the time. So, um, if you're looking for a quiet breed, they're a pretty good breed. Um, they're playful. Uh, they're more of a lethargic breed. Their, their exercise requirements are not a ton. You can go on one walk a day and they'll be fine. You know, play fetch out in the backyard and they're ready to lay down and go to sleep. Uh, they, their, their requirements for, um, energy exercise level, I guess, is, is more on the lower end. They're more of a lethargic breed. And then last pro that I have is they're extremely loyal. So uh, that's the pros and cons of an Akita. Um, and then I have two, I have two things that I wrote down that aren't really pros or cons because it kind of depends on uh, what you're looking for. So they do well in cold climates. If you are some someone that lives in Alaska, Montana, sometimes Canada, stuff like that, um, this breed would be pretty good for you. They they do well in cold climates, in hot temperatures and hot climates. They do need specific uh, care to you know make sure that they don't uh, have heat stroke or anything like that. Um, Obviously, they need shade, they need constant water, um, you know, it would be best to have them in an air-conditioned house uh, where they, <clears throat> sorry, where they can have a place where they're, it's cooler, um, they're not outside all the time in the heat because they can get heat stroke and they can die from it. So, um, if you live in some place like Florida or you know, Texas or someplace that's like always hot or um, really humid or whatever, just take into account that if you get an Akita, they will need special care um, in the heat of the summers and stuff like that. Um, and then the last one is they get up to 70 to 130 pounds. So females are usually smaller than males. Um, but they do get pretty big. So if you are looking for a big dog, that's awesome. If you're looking for a smaller dog, it's not real great. Akitas do fall into the large breed category. So there's obviously there's, you know, teacup, small, um, and then medium, large, and then extra large. A Great Dane or Newfoundland or Great Pyrenees, they're all extra large breeds. Akitas fall into the large breed. Huskies fall into the medium breed. And then small breeds are obviously, you know, they're obvious. So, um, yeah, they are a large breed dog. So if you are looking for a larger breed, um, this dog might be a good fit for you. If you're looking for a breed on the smaller end, it's probably not a great fit for you. Um... If you guys have any questions about Akitas, you can ask them in the comments below. Um, if you guys have questions on our Husky or the Husky breed in general, I've already done a video of that and I will try to remember to link it in the description. But you can go to my page and you can find where I talk about um, Huskies because we do have a Husky as well. So Huskies and Akitas, they get mixed up a lot. Um, People here especially, uh, they don't see a whole lot of Akitas. They see more Huskies than they do Akitas. So whenever we're walking them or whatever, uh, they will call them Huskies. And so if you're looking for a breed that looks like an Akita but isn't, um, you, might, you might want a Husky. Um, 
I do, I did do a pro and con video of Huskies, so Huskies might not be your breed either. Um, I would check that video out before you, you know, completely switch to looking for a Husky if this video kind of deterred you from um, looking at an Akita. Obviously, this video is not to discourage people from getting an Akita. I did do pros and cons to them, so um, I'm just trying to help people, you know, outweigh their, you know, d try and help people decide on what breed and try and help them understand what they're getting into. So I hope this helped. Um, I don't think I'm going to record like going to my counseling session or anything like that. I just, I'm, or not my counseling session, my doctor's appointment. Um, I don't think it'll be anything super entertaining or fun. So um, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please, if you have not yet, like and this video and subscribe to my channel. It will help me a ton. Um, my next video will probably be this weekend and it will be Service Dog Saturday. So I will be training Kova. Um, for those of you who are watching my channel, you know, that have their own service dogs or whatever, that that's why you subscribe to my channel. I will be doing more training videos with Kova on Saturday. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.